Very good morning to you. I almost said Wednesday morning, but it's a Monday morning. Like, I mean, come on, I don't know my days. I, I need something. I need, I need, um, I'm not going to say her name because she's going to answer me over there. My electronic device to remind me every single morning what day of the week is, what the date is, <laughs> what time is it. How are we all doing? I have got um, Joe, Justin, I'm going to bring her on just in a second. I'm so, so excited about these rainbows because there can be like a ray of sunshine, I guess, in your life, just giving you that little bit of decoration that every single time you look at it, it makes you smile. So let me know um, how's the weather where you are, first of all. Um, second of all, if you've got a question, please put a cue in front of your question so we can really easily identify it and pull it out and make sure we answer it for you. If you got a tip, put a T in front of your um, tip so we can make sure we read that one out as well. And that's it really. If you are new today, put new in the comments because we do love, love, love to meet you and welcome you our little beady family here. So that's it. Housekeeping is done. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce my lovely guest today. I'm, I'm lo I love having guests on the show and um, we're going to get, we're going to get making. So Joe, good morning. Good morning, Kitty. How are morning, you? everyone. I'm very well, thank you very much. How how are you being like now that like you opened your salon a few weeks ago and still trying to do crafting and beading and all sorts of different things? So so how is life in Joe's house? It's been busy, but it's been really good fun. It's just great to be back. Um, can't quite keep up with everything I've got to do, but you know, <laughs> I'm you happy. Just... We just have to give up Morning, sleep. Everyone. We just have to yeah. give up sleep. Like we don't, we don't need sleep. That's it. Oh, Sheila Shane is sunny in Windermere, where she is. No rain up to now. It's quite overcast here, so I think it's mm -hmm. going to rain later. Lucy, saying good morning, Miss Rainbow. Morning, Lucy. Drizzly Plymouth, like you, you down from that way as well. So how's the weather where you are? Yeah. I'm in Plymouth. It was quite sunny just now, but now it's gone. It's threatening to rain again. Again. I think, it, I think it's a perfect day to stay in and just be. Just do some crafting today. Um, good morning, Robin. Robin is like very early where you are, lovely. Robin is from um, America. A bit dull and uh, here and no rain yet, uh, Michelle is saying. Right. Okay. So the rainbows. I love, love, love blue skies in Bristol. Though well, that's not that far, far from you. So there is like fingers crossed. No, that's not far. A couple hours up the road. Raining in York. Raining in York. There we go. I actually, I was thinking this morning, and like it's like really dangerous when I start thinking. I really want to do something. Like I'm actually I'm not going to say much more, but I'm thinking something designing around the weather. So a piece of jewellery that we can like add day by day to it. And it's going to be good. I, I, it just I came to my uh, my mind this morning, but um, I think it's going to be good. Right. OK, so shall we go down to the demo and see um, what you will be making? The lovely little rainbow. I can see one right behind you. Yeah, I, I seem to have frozen. My picture's frozen. Oh, hopefully yes, the I can demo see. map. So we, we, my demo mat is okay. <laughs> your demo mat is okay. No, no problem. I think it will come back as long as we can still hear you. That's what can. It's overcast in Durham as well, so it's up north as well. Perth was raining, so definitely we are staying in and beading today. <laughs> so you can see the rainbow. I'm, I'm sorry, Joe jo is frozen, but you can see behind her, just <laughs> on her door. I'm gonna go straight down to the mat, and let's see. Yes. Yep, yeah, that's that's okay. This is all moving. This is good. So I'm gonna take it. You take it away, my lovely, and and show us your magic. How's the picture for you? It's really stuttery here. I can see it. I can I can see your demo table. Um, fine. That's that's not a problem. Is it all right. Yeah, that's all sure. right. Okay. Great. So um, this kit I designed my rainbow from. A uh, necklace size oh, memory, memory wire. wire. So this is my rainbow. Wow, that looks really good. I love it. And it's just so simple. It is literally just stringing beads onto the wire, 
turning loops and joining them together. Thanks, Angela. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the inner arc, the smallest one, which is the purple. And I've written down um, how many beads I use for each, yep. each row. You don't have to do them in the same color order as me. Um, but I tend to stick the same way so that I can just bang them out and I don't really need to think about it. So <laughs> I'm going to start with, um, I've got six dark purple. <clears throat> so I just take a little section of the memory why I think Kitty you said it's a 10 loops in the kit. Yes. That's plenty. That'll make it two easy. Um so I'm just eyeballing it really. I'll just give myself a good bit to play with. And <clears throat> always cut a little bit more off but it's harder to put on yeah. there and i think once you made the first loop the rest of them is going to fit around yeah so um memory wire shears don't use your good pliers no not at all i i got i got a very old pair of pliers what i use to cut my memory wire and another thing that i always do with memory wire because I haven't got very strong hands, is I always use my looper. Yeah. To turn my loops. This one isn't, this is a different size to the one you have on your website, but I think the one you have would probably work better. Yeah. Because the loops are a little bit small. Is it strong so enough for the it... loopers? I never tried it with the looper. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been using them for years. Mm. So I tend to go like so my wires going oh, where am I That's my wires it. going that way so I'm doing it like this way a bit down there we go that's it there we go okay so and you need to make sure your loops are very closed so I tend to just get some chain those pliers just to make sure that there's no gap okay i lose if she's just up the um one step loop before us and actually we so didn't even show have... you the kit on the website you have to show you afterwards you're like so eager to get in oh yeah just get on with it <laughs> it's four five there's six on there when you come to turn the loop at the other side, unlike if you were making jewellery, you want to have a nice gap. You need a yeah. bit of wiggle room. All right, just don't don't do it, but don't butt it straight up to the bead. Give it like five millimeters, just a bit of wiggle room. And a little pop from the scraps. So that's your first piece done. And you can mold it a bit. Can be quite brutal with it and it's fine. Okay, so that's that one. And then we'll do the same with the blue. Just a little slightly longer piece. I think you would like need each piece would be like maybe about an inch and a half longer or an inch longer than the one before, isn't it? Yeah, so each arc moves up by four beads. So you yeah. start with six, then it's 10, then it's 14, and you're up by four each time. So your wire needs to grow as well. I mean, what you could do, because you're working with memory wire, so it's got like, you can add beads from either end. You could add your six beads on, turn the loop mm -hmm. on, on the, the coil itself, and then cut it off, because then you will be, like, then you're definitely not going to be, if you know exactly the numbers you have to put on there, you could put the beads on there before cutting it. Does that make sense? <laughs> Absolutely, I'm going to do that next time. That's a brilliant it idea. It's just, it just looking at things different ways, I guess. Yeah. Four, five. 
Lucy's saying the reason I bought a looper was from memory mm -hmm. wire. It, it works well. I never tried it, Lucy. I need to try that one out. Do it, and, Kitty. Good. Angela says I have two sizes of loopers. Prefer the bigger one. Yeah, I, I'm going to get the bigger one because I, I do think it'll be better for this project. Morning, Sheila. Sheila says she's a little late. Don't worry, Sheila. We just started. Hello, Sheila. I'm still frozen in that screen. <laughs> I know. I think what we're going to have to do. I look silly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lucy, you like not pulling your face. Like sometimes if you, yeah, if the so camera so... freezes in me, it froze like. <laughs> with a face like that, yeah, most probably. Out or anything, so that's quite nice. So I'm going to do what you recommended is just pop them on. First. So um, the turquoise is 14 beads. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, Angela's saying this leads is a good pose. Like maybe what we do after this, like when 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 you made this one, like if you you can pop out and then come back in with the other one, so we we start the feed again. I don't know. Technology sometimes you just like, and sometimes it just restarts on itself, and sometimes it doesn't. So. Seven, eight. Oh, Sheila is using the leaper from memory wire. Oh my, am, am I the um, only one who doesn't use the leaper from memory wire? <laughs> oh, I need to time. try this. <laughs> You're late to the party, love. I know, I'm late Two, to the party. <laughs> 10, 12, 14 on there. Got a little scrap stuck in there. So do the loop on that side. Now, if you like... Don't if... worry, you haven't got to watch me do all this. <laughs> uh, okay. Is it easier so, that way? Yeah. As Kitty recommended, there's less chance of wastage. How very clever. <laughs> Don't say that. Genius. The simplest things, you know. Why didn't I think of this? Yeah, but sometimes you just need somebody to point something out. But because like each one of us to look at something with a different and, and you know the saying when they say, well, look at it with a fresh pair of eyes. And I think that's what it is. Just because you're looking from a different perspective, you see like, oh, actually, if you did it that way, then. I mean, it's saying she doesn't have a looper. She just uses her pliers. Yeah, I just use my, I just, but I'm trying the looper. I got a looper here. I'm, I'm going to be trying this afterwards. I, got I think the... because you do have to do a lot of loops on this, so... Yeah. I'm not lazy or anything, but, you know, I am a bit. <laughs> well, it's not that. When you're using a looper, your loops are going to be the same size. So exactly. when you, like, you know, uh, come to it, they're going to be more, like, you know, I, I love the looper. I really do love it. I do. So, here's some I made earlier. Uh -huh. Right. Before so, each we... time, like I say, you've gone up, so four more than the last time. And well, it, so, these are eight millimeter beads, but I've made them with six millimeters. You could do them with 10, you could do them with four. Um, always the same amount of beads, though. Doesn't matter what size they are, as long as they're all the same size. Yeah. That's the, uh, that's the number of beads that you need. I'm just going to go full size very quickly. So I let you to um, take your iPad and go out and come back in. So we're going to see, see, we're going to see you talking. <laughs> we can see okay. you talking. And, um, but while, while you do that, I'll, I'll very quickly pop on the website and show on the website that, um, show you on the website of the kit. So let me just click on this. I'm going to share my screen very quickly. So we are, on the website, you know the drill. I'm going to go to the main page. When you land on totalbeads.co.uk, you're going to come here. And you either go into the video tutorials right here on the top, or you go into categories. And we, But you, you know this already. Right, we've got hundreds of tutorials on there. You can search. We, you can search tutorials by date, tutorials by kind, tutorials by technique. So if you've got something, in, like I want to make a ring, then you go in there and find the ring. If you say, like, I got... 
I don't know, memory wire at home, then you go in and find the wire section. So today, Rainbow with Joe. There we go. I'm going to pop in here and have a look at this product. So this is list everything what's in there, memory wire, head and eye pins. And Joe's going to show you what you do with it. Cat's eye hearts, jump rings, a nylon line. So you can... Um, you can put it up you can hang it up and of course your memory right comes in as well usually 19.99 and simon has given us a 15 percent discount on it so it's 16.99 today so you are going to have leftover beads um from the packs once you make your rainbows but um you can either make like a raining down chain with it but i'll let joe all that um for joe to explain right back to the screen and hopefully Yay, she's moving! Look, she's moving. Oh, oh, oh. I've muted. Yeah, there you go. She's moving. We all all right? We very good. So I'll take you away again. <clears throat> okay. So now we have the seven arcs. I can hear myself faintly in the background. Oh, no. Are you are muted? I am muted. I can't hear oh, you. Let's carry on. For let's me, you're la sure you're loud and clear. Let me and everybody in the and in the chat. Let me know if you can hear Joe twice. You can hear a little <laughs> bit of an echo. Um, Margaret had a question. Um, sorry, late. Is the necklace memory wire? Not tried loop from memory wires, not alone kit yet. Necklace memory wire is just like is the same as the bracelet memory wire, but the loops are bigger. Yeah, so what we need to do now to um join them together some white beads. So this can be like think of them as clouds. Bless. And um, we'll turn the loop on the wire again to secure the end. I made a bit of a pig's ear of that one. Let's sort that out. Okay. So you start with, it, it can be really fiddly doing this, but stick with it and it does come together. So you start with a white and then you put one end of the red on another white no one else has got an echo thank goodness it's just me <laughs> <laughs> no no echo they're saying you saying fine there's only one joe and then a red <laughs> saying oh sorry an orange and then another white and you just alternate like that so you thread one end on and then another white and can you see how they're starting to yeah. It joins them together. But the eight millimeter beads just space them nicely. And that's why I said about leaving a little wiggle room so yeah. that they're not like fighting against each other. And the green. Oh, turquoise. Oh, Judy, Judy, thank you so much for the stars. Really much appreciated. You must have a lot of stars now, Kitty. I I I haven't had a um. I have to ask Simon because obviously he does the accounts and everything else. So I don't know actually because I think Facebook only pays some money out if you have over like fifty pounds worth of or something like that. And I don't think we hit that just yet. So I, I haven't mm. I haven't heard anything from Simon. But um, carry on. <laughs> okay, so I've got to my last one, which is the purple. And this time I'm adding three white beads, which just helps to space it out. Now, this is the bit where you do need to be quite dexterous. <laughs> it's um, a bit fiddly. So I'll make sure I'm under camera. So you start with the purple and thread that through. And although the memory wire is quite tough, you can bend it about where you want it to be. And if you bend it out of shape, it does pop back. So then another white. And then the dark blue. White. And the 
chat, please. See, this is why you need your loops to be really closed. Yeah, so, so they don't so come, come out. Well. Yeah. Uh, green. Lucy's saying she loves rainbow projects. I think we all. I love, I love a rainbow ombre. Anything where you like shades or tints or like yeah. tints or anything like that. I think it just makes things look even better. Oh, I can see. Can today add the white beads number you need for the project? <laughs> that was a fluke. <laughs> 17 I use. And now the rain is coming. I hope it doesn't get too heavy because it gets really loud. I'm in the conservatory. And if it's heavy rain, it is literally like, you are. <laughs> okay, so that is them all threaded on. That looks really good. You see? Obviously, this is all nothing's connected together yet it's still you can still fiddle and play with it i think what would be really nice i haven't done it yet i've done a crystal one but i think a mix-up of memory of, of miracle beads and crystal would be really nice yeah i think so Don't you think too. like the rondelles or something so what i would do now pulling it really really tightly is turn yeah. the loop at the other end and you want it really tight. Yeah. So so that's what I did with this one. But this, but for this demo, we've Kitty's given us these really gorgeous cat's eye hearts. That's it. I love that I love cat's eye. And I think they They're go really so lovely. well with the miracle beads, don't they? Yeah. So I thought, yeah, they, they do. They're just like, they're made for each other, aren't they? So I thought rather than just finishing it like this, I'm going to go back, take this one out. Try not to fling everything everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and as I, I imagine would... the white ones. This this is a sub to you because like you making your own design, so you could you could yeah. add add the bits in or not that in. You could have it plain. You could have stuff dangling down just on the ends and not in the middle. It's really a sub to you. So yeah, what I've done here is I've attached the heart on a head pin, and then put the miracle bead on an eye pin, and I've put. You don't need to put the jump rings, but I have because it gives it that extra. Yeah dingle dangle so i'll just i've left one that i haven't done so just to show you how i did it so it's really simply just pop your cat's eye onto your head pin are you going to use the looper looper again because <laughs> it's here why not just those loopers that. are lifesaver I love it. I really do. You, like you say, you always get the same size loop. Doesn't always close perfectly, but then it's saying she still got the decoration. rainbows, rainbow crystal pack from the from the other rainbow pack. So she will try to mix them together. And rather than getting out my head pins, I'm just going to use the leftover yep. of that. That's the beauty of it. You can make an eye pin out of exactly. a leftover of a head pin. Slide that one on. And back to the looper. Nice and tight against the bead this time. There we go. I'm gonna get I'm gonna try this looper out. Get looping. I'm gonna <laughs> get loopy, loopy loopy. The loopy loop. <clears throat> And now I have just to join them together with some jump rings on there. And I 
the top as well. You could open up like the eye pin. You could lift the eye of the pin and, and hook them together that way as well. Yeah, so because there's so many in the kit, you literally, you could, you could just do a nice little, like a, yeah. almost like a beaded curtain, couldn't you? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Have lots dangling together rather than just the one. So this is the... I need to concentrate on this. <laughs> <laughs> you done the um, colours as well. Yeah. So I'm going to go get the colours in order. Uh, blue, purple, purple again. Debbie is asking, did you say before loopers come in different sizes? Which size is Joe using, please? So um, I'm not sure what one you're using. I got the yellow one, which is 2.25 millimeter. And this is the, mm. you, when you get an eye pin, usually, like uh, when you buy an eye pin, that is the size of the loop, which is on the eye pin already. So the, the 2.25 is, um, the, I think that's, I don't know if you've got any other ones in stock, but that that should be in stock. Yeah, mine is 1.5, but yeah. I, I want to get the one that you stock because I think that would be better for this project. Yeah. So I'm alternating now. So I've done put the red arc on and then I've put the little dangle yeah. in the red and then another white, orange, orange dangle. I love it. Uh, oh, white. <laughs> you got to sort of sing it to yourself. So you're yellow, yellow. Oh yeah, I had to ask. I had to ask. Uh, um, I, I, I like the rainbow. Like you should know the rainbow colors, but every single time, then like, like I have to think about it. So what color? But I think different people have got different colors in their rainbows haven't they so it's not like absolutely a rainbow yeah. for me will be different from rainbow from somebody else and I, I think that like okay like rainbow is rainbow but we all adapt the rainbow to our our own uh, um colors it was it was quite funny when we were deciding what colors weren't we and I was like oh mm. I need I need the turquoise because that's the blue then you got the indigo then you got the violet but then it was just like, oh, what what do you call indigo? Is it purple or is it blue? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So I haven't made a mistake yet, I don't think. No, so no I'm, keep, I'm blue, keeping an eye on you, don't worry. Blue dangle, white, purple, purple dangle. And then three white. And then we go in reverse. So we've got to go dangle. <laughs> this is where it gets a bit of a handful here. It's all worth it though, I promise. Then white, blue dangle, blue. White, turquoise dangle, turquoise. Is anybody bored yet? No, we're not bored at all. Don't say that. <laughs> There's pink. Yeah, there is pink in the Rainbow Song, isn't there, Lucy? My husband was singing it the other day when we were discussing what colours to have, and he's going, "There, eh, where's where's your pink?" Yeah, Put, pink, pink in the in rainbow. This one. <laughs> well, Susan is saying the way how she is um, remembers Richard of York gave battle in vain. So red, yeah. orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. Yeah. So that's six. Yeah. Shouldn't be six is it six or seven colours in the rainbow actually? Indigo violet. Indigo violet. In vain, yeah, indigo violet. That's it. You all alright still with me? Yeah, we're still uh, with yeah. you. Yellow. Debbie's saying sterling job, looking good. Thank you very much. Uh, orange. Yeah, Lucy said, I noticed Joe sneak two blues into her rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice the nails as well, Lucy? Oh, I love blue. And there we go. That one, then the red one. 
And the red one. White, that's the end. I think what's the great thing about it as well, you don't have to be like, like cautious about it. You can quite pull it and push it because the wire is really yeah. strong. Like so when I was making, when I was making and this wire was just like putting up a fight, but it was going like this way and I thought, oh, it looks nice this way too. I, I so think. if you I, wanted to. Yeah. That and looks good as well. Them. It does, doesn't it? And have you more spaced out? Um, yeah. Joe's saying the song says red, yellow, pink, blue, orange, purple, and green. So there you go. And Debbie's saying dangles make such a difference. Lucy's saying love this project. So another thing that I almost did was instead of having the dangles all the way through the center just have seven hearts dangling here wow seven that would look good dangling here so that would look pretty too absolutely so i might have a little go at that at some point but this is the thing we could look at things so many different ways couldn't be like really yeah as many minds even, even if you didn't want to use the hearts another thing that would look quite nice is like um a teardrop crystal yeah. A clear one would look really nice, wouldn't it? There's so many different things you could do. All right, I'm just going to chop this, and then I'll show you how I secure them all and hang it. So really nice and tight now. You want all your whites, no gaps. Cheryl is saying she loves the dangle. Judy is saying love it. Pamela is saying that's so pretty. Thanks, guys. And there's so much left over. You can make another, you could make um, some jewelry, make yourself some a wire wrap. Make another rainbow. Not a wire wrap. Even, yeah, you can make another rainbow. You could use a, a bangle, a necklace. Or not a bangle with this. What am I talking about? It's a bit big, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> What am I talking about? Judith is, Judith is saying it's it's lovely, Joe, and I really like a bracelet. Thank you. This was one of the first resin projects I made. My bracelet. It's um, it's just some mica and a bit of sparkle. I love it. Yeah. The I bought it as a kit actually from Let's Resin. And um, the jump rings in the kit weren't actually very good. So obviously I used... <laughs> you replaced those. Yeah. I used the totally... Yeah, a lot of, lot of companies do stock like six millimeter jump rings, but they don't stock it in one millimeter thickness. They, they stock it like 0. 0.7 or 0. 0.8. And I think that just a little bit of difference between 0. 0.8 and one mil, it makes a lot of difference in strength. I'm having a bit of a nightmare with this here. It would have wants to curve the other way. <laughs> Never mind. Right. So, got my monofilament or um, nylon. Lon is saying you could make the dangle alternate long and short one, heart on range up. Yeah, absolutely. You're going nice. to have loads of like beads left over, so you could even make it longer. So, you could like have longer dangles down on the side and shorten it to the middle or have it long in the middle and shorten it to the side you should do all sorts of different things everyone's going to do something different aren't they i can't oh, wait yeah. to see so i've got all my arcs going off wherever they want to go and we need to get them all to stand together so that we can hang it so what i do is i start with some monofilament just fold it in half and the reason that i do even numbers of beads rather than odds is so that you can get in the center of each arc yeah so and then you literally just tie a simple knot i do a double one on the first one and then you bring up the next color straight into the center and 
Do another knock. Another knock. That's what's so holding the them together, isn't it? That's what's holding them together, and that's what you hang it with as well. Mm. And I say... Try not to go too tight, because you can um, end up squashing the rainbow. <laughs> And I think I designed my front and back door with colored glass, red, yellow, pink, green, orange, and purple. Oh, that, that's good. Nice. I love sometimes when you like go into, like even if when you go and look at historical buildings and and like if, when you're allowed to go on holiday and you're allowed to look, go and look around and we are now, aren't we? <laughs> they said from today we can yeah. go on holiday. So when you look at like, and I'm not, I'm not just like churches or palaces or anything, they, they over hundreds of hundreds of years, they've been using like rainbow colors and ombre colors and, and it's just so rich in color. Um, I always get so inspired when I look something like that and to have that like Anna is saying to design her front door and back door, like bringing that colorful into your home, I think is just, it's just really nice. So I've got to the last one now, which is the red one. I'll just do a double knot again. And then you can use the rest of this. Yeah. Just do a little loop. Start again. Oh, wow. Debbie's saying we have the original leaded light windows, which are over 100 years old. Oh, bless you. That that look, must look um, beautiful. That looks really good. Sort of gone a bit bent, but <laughs> I might have over tightened it, to be fair. No, I think that looks fantastic. That looks really, really good. Let's give a thumbs up for Jo. She's done a very good job. <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> Thank I love you it. very much. And same as I did when I did the heart. I will just use a little, little suction cup. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Because the... it, then you can put it on the window and... Um, Take it off if yeah. you need to. You don't have to have leave it up there. Like I'm thinking, like you know, putting a nail into the window and all that sort of thing. No, no, just stick it on your window, mirror, front door. Thanks, Paula. Thanks, Effie. <laughs> uh, and I think it's so beautiful. It's half the glass on the top of the door with the colours going around inside. And I think, that especially if the, the sun shines on it properly, that um, brings it in. <laughs> Right, Zoe's, Zoe's putting her straight now. So the song is not correct, colours. A real rainbow <laughs> colours are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Okay, but what is indigo and what is violet? That's where it goes a bit like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so, because blue, it could be more like aqua blue or it could be yeah. more like, like denim blue or it could be like sky blue or it could be like, you know, navy blue. It could be loads of different blues. And violet, I guess, in indigo is like a bluey purple, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. But then, like, indigo could be, like, if you think, I think about of it as, blue. I think of it as a dark denim blue. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say, because, like, I think when, when they, um, it, like, if you think about jeans and stuff like that, indigo, when they say indigo blue, it's like a dark blue, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's not yeah. it's, there's got no purple in it whatsoever um violet is like violet we know we know what violet <laughs> looks like they've got no problem with violet lucy's just written the lyrics of the song <laughs> um lucy's saying i love it thank you for showing everything beautiful that looks lovely um looks brilliant oh charlotte thank you so much for the stars Beautiful, Natalie's saying. That's lovely. Um, Patricia's saying, just found you. Been sat waiting, but at last you're here. You will stay. Good morning to you all. I will have to watch on catch up as I missed the beginning. Looks great. Well done, Joe. Thank you for showing us your lovely make. Yeah, once we finish, you can go back to the uh, beginning and watch it again. Shot is saying beautiful. Everybody's saying beautiful. I don't know if I can get everybody up up here showing everybody's comments, but I, I think it's really good as well. And what I love that like we all make jewelry 
and we all do all sorts of different things all the time like, we, like bracelets necklaces earrings and like and sometimes it's so nice to use your jewelry making skills in home decor because then it becomes a bit, a bit more of an art for your um for your house and i think like you know putting something like that in a window looks really um indigo is dark blue towards purple so he's saying so yeah oh, they I don't think... do that in a miracle beef though no they don't <laughs> like they, they only do like a certain amount of colors and you know the colors because i, I sent you the the color range <clears throat> but i think let everybody have whatever they want in their rainbow like you know we, we, yeah. we all we all uniquely like us so you're <clears throat> unique we can have whatever we want in a rainbow if you want brown in your rainbow have brown in your rainbow <laughs> like who says you can't <laughs> maybe we just said that's the invisible color Brenda, like said, Brenda. A beautiful um thank you joe uh, in the paint palette indigo is royal blue so there you go in the paint palette That's indigo is royal blue so, so do you think be... maybe we just got the purple is it too dark the rest are all right aren't they no i think they're they all they're all nice i think it's right it's it's uh, it's your rainbow so you can have whatever colors you want in it google says indigo is between blue and purple not very helpful janice is saying oh, yeah, we're gonna be gonna talk about indigo and a girl create main order mine yeah pop over to the website there is 15 percent off on today usually it's 19.99 but down to 16.99 to um um for the kit today so i don't know how many we got because i'm working from home sam is in a very house so i don't know how many um in stock but uh, make sure that you get it because they look so good. I'm sure they're not going to stay around for long. It's like an ink used in fountain pens. So that's like dark mm. blue as well, isn't it? Oh, mm. this thing, you're amazing, Jude. Thank you for showing us. Oh, yes. you're amazing, Lucy, too. Yeah, she's amazing. Oh, little, little Miss great. Lucy. Um, Sheila think I don't have any miracle beads, so going to buy the kit. Yeah, it's just eight millimeter miracle beads in all the different colors, and like we in the kit to put everything else in there what you need. But it's like it's really easy to make, and if you have now that you can meet up with your like granddaughters and nieces and nephews, perhaps you could like include them in the make as well, couldn't you? Because I think like mm -hmm. it's there's something like this, like. It, with the looper i guess they could make the loops as well but you could do that part and they could do the um they could do the threading the beads on and it would be something nice to make together no matter what a rainbow is it's beautiful patricia is saying <laughs> yeah definitely brilliant this morning i love it i really do love it Simon did. I asked Simon to bring me home a kit and she brought me home a kit on friday and she forgot to put it out from his bag so he took it back to work with him this morning. It's not good, <laughs> is it? And he was like, when I was like, I don't know, it was half past nine. I phoned him up. I was like, where is the kit? I want to make long. And he was like, oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I forgot to put it out of my bag. And I was like, he was like, do you want me to drive over? I'm like, you know what? No, don't bother. Just bring it home tonight. I'll make it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> to go to go up in the window but you could do you could ombre this you could like even if you do the reds you could have lighter reds at the bottom and dark reds on the top you could do so many mm. different versions of this i really do love it yeah it would look so lovely in crystal as well wouldn't it yeah absolutely and you could mix and match them as well and the crystals there is like different in crystal in miracle beads there is 16 18 colors i think maybe 18 colors in total but um crystals we got like so many different colors and glass pearls as well we got so many different colors so you could like you could have the colors of the rainbow but then you could ombre it from light to very dark in the middle or from very light in the middle to dark on the sides you could do so many different things couldn't you like you take it to even to the next level I, ca I cannot wait what you all do with it so if you do anything okay. and well not no nick when you do it <laughs> please put a picture into the handmade group so we can all see it i love to see all of your creations and using all sorts of different beads and alison saying she loves uh, she would love to uh, make a crystal one as well thank you joe what a um what a, what about metallic colored beads or clear glass beads to reflect sunlight yeah you could do or you could space them out so if you wanted to you could put a space of in between every one of those beads couldn't you mm, definitely 
could make it with AB crystals, absolutely. You could yeah. do it's your designs. Like I think as many of us in like here or, or, or watching here, we could be each one of us would make could make slightly different ones if they um you know because just so many different variations you could do. Right, my lovelies. Well, thank you so much for today. Tomorrow we are going to be making, and I'm going to put this, and I've got so many bracelets on, but we are going to be making, we're going to be working <laughs> with Super Geos. I really do love it. Um, we're going to do a lovely pattern, and we're going to be using our brand new um, monofilament in different colors. So we're going to be doing that Ooh. tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow at 10 a.m. Joe, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much Thanks for having me. Th taking the time and coming on and showing it to us. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that um, you were able to do it. And I'm hoping yeah. to see you back very, very soon. We're going to have to come up with something else with you. And we will I'll work in the background, don't worry. <laughs> and um, yeah, so thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a lovely day, everybody. Keep on beading, keep on crying.